many of you here have been thinking about what you want to do and what you want to be over the past year? And how many of you have thought about how artificial intelligence is going to impact your career choices? So I make my living in technology, um, which makes me a nerd, right? Um, and like all good nerds, I love the idea of cars driving themselves. I started getting involved in self-driving car technology when I worked at a Caltech lab about 12 years ago. However, the people who this technology is going to impact the most and most immediately, the three and a half million truck dri drivers across the US and Europe, have only started realizing that this is going to impact them over the past couple of years. They could have had an opportunity over the last 10 years to develop new skills as well as make different career choices. So what happened? Why did AI sneak up on them? This may be a bit of a surprise to some of you, but we've been talking about artificial intelligence since 1956. AI has been around for a while, but there have been AI winters and there have been AI booms several times. Right? Um, so what is it about the last seven years that has actually made applications like self-driving technology viable for the first time? There are three things that happen at the same time. Number one, data collection and data processing became easier because of better technologies. Right? Um, you need data to fuel AI training. And that's been one of the big drivers. The second thing that has happened is that computer processing has become faster. That's like the engine. So no matter how much fuel you have, if you don't have that engine, then processing the data in a time frame that's reasonable was actually just not possible. And the third thing that's happened is that new algorithms have been developed, which have made AI much more powerful. So technology has been changing and developing at a pace that's much faster than ever before. And we have not been used to this rapid pace of change, which means that we have not been used to thinking about how it's going to impact our immediate future. None of us here can imagine our lives without WhatsApp or Instagram, right? However, um, any of us that lived in the era of SMSs we're not able to imagine what life would have been like differently as well. I spent the last four years of my life working on technology, which has the power to actually automate the job of two million salespeople. Sales and marketing related jobs comprise some of the majority of jobs across most countries outside of agriculture. However, by 2020, over 25% of these sales and marketing related jobs from the last decade are likely to be lost. Let me explain to you why that is the case and use a story of two friends, Jeff and John, to explain that. So John and Jeff got sales jobs in 2009. They had great relationships with their customers. They hit their targets. They had happy lives. John in 2012 started realizing that some of his customers were not coming to him for advice anymore, but they were coming to him with a clear idea of what they wanted to buy. This number kept on increasing with time, but he was happy and comfortable and didn't mind it. So John effectively became an order taker. At the same time, Jeff continued to develop relationships with clients that were deeper, continued to develop expertise in complex products, and his customers relied on him for his expertise. So Jeff became a sales consultant. Now in 2019, John got fired. Jeff continued to do well at his job. What was the reason for the difference in the fate of the two friends? One very big surprising answer and factor is Google and it's AI. What Google's done is given all of us the power to get the relevant information we want at our fingertips. This has created a shift in how things are bought. 
but it didn't happen overnight. This started in 2004, but the major change only happens starting 2012 onwards. Google's taken away about 65% of salespeople's jobs that were primarily order takers, and the ones that are remaining are likely to be gone over the next decade. So John got blindsided by this, but none of us have to be anymore. When you think about jobs and career choices, it's important to think about it in the form of what are the different components and tasks that go into a job. So for example, when you think about a chef's job, you can think about the fact that a chef has to be creative, a chef has to manage a team of people and cook. An accountant has to build relationships with clients as well as do the actual accounting. These tasks, if they are rule-based, repeatable, predictable, and rote, are very vulnerable to the power of AI. Even if you're building AI, if the tasks to build that AI fall in this bucket, that AI, same AI is gonna come back and take away that task from you sooner or later. So when you think about a job or a career choice, if a majority of the tasks that comprise that career choice are likely to be these vulnerable tasks, then that is a career at risk in the future. So what are the tasks that AI will find hard to do? Anything that's unpredictable, anything that requires skills like creative thinking or empathy or interpersonal skills, those things are going to be very human for a long time. I organized a brainstorming session with my team yesterday to discuss new product ideas. We had people um, who came from different roles, engineering, design, product, and everyone came up with great ideas. So, you know, business people were doing engineering ideas and design people were trying to do business and engineers were also trying to show off and do marketing, but that didn't work out so well. Um, yeah, so these are the kind of things that AI can't do. Absolutely not. There are a lot of things that are available in terms of options. You can be a sales manager, you can be a lawyer, you can be a writer, you can be an engineer building new products, you can be an event planner. There's a lot to do that AI can't touch. And the way I see it, the parts of work that we don't like, we can outsource to the robots. So anything to do with data entry or laundry, I hate laundry, uh, that can go to the robots. So give this knowledge away. Share this with people. The people that are most vulnerable to these changes are the ones that are most likely to get this knowledge only from you and not from other sources. AI is very powerful if used the right way. Um, and it's important for, for people to understand its pros and cons. Um, and I hope that this can be helpful to all of you here and everyone else you talk to. Thank you.